Hello, it's Chris here, and welcome to another SwiftUI Basics tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use links in SwiftUI apps. So it's great for opening up a link in Safari from your app or opening up the settings, perhaps, from your app. All right, let's dive in and take a look. Before we begin, one quick note. We have a free Xcode project containing sample code for all of the SwiftUI components. Use it for your own projects or just to learn from. Get it at cwc.to slash SwiftUI dash kit. So I've got brand new Xcode project here. Let's get rid of the image and text element and we're going to type in link. Now there's going to be two different ones. We're going to go through both. Let's do the first one. This one allows you to specify a piece of text to represent the link followed by a URL instance for the destination. That's where you want to bring the user to. This one allows you to specify the destination and then any custom view that you want. So let's do this one first and let's uh, just use my website as an example. And then for the URL here, you're going to create a new URL instance. And I'm going to use this string one here. And you can just type in the web address you want to go to. But because this returns an optional URL instance, we are going to just force and wrap it here. Now, if it cannot create that URL, it will crash. Now, let's uh, actually, I don't know if you can do it in the preview. I don't think so. But here, I've launched it in the simulator. If you tap on it, it comes here. Simple, really, really easy. Now, if you want to, let's say, open settings, we can just, I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's essentially the same thing. Except in here, you would type in app dash settings colon. And then let's take a look at that. Now, I'm not familiar with any other types of um, this is not exactly a URL scheme. I don't think if you know other ones that you can open, please let me know in the comments below. But that allows you to open the settings very, very uh, handy. So let's take a look at the last one this one right here where we can spe uh, specify the destination. Huh, it's typed it out for us. Okay, so let's use that. And then as for the label, I am going to use an actual label element. If uh, you've never used that before, it's very handy. You can specify an SF symbol for it. I happen to know the SF symbol that I want to use right there. And let's style this a little bit. So I'm going to add a width of let's say 250, height of 40, you can see it there already, uh, background, black, foreground style, uh, white, and then clip shape, and just add rounded rectangle corner radius of let's say eight. So something like that. And that is how you would have a styled link. You tap on that, it goes to the Apple website. So that's how easy it is to use this link view in your Swift UI app. If you want to download the sample code for this, we've got it all in a single handy Xcode project. In fact, it contains sample code for all of the Swift UI components so that you can learn from it or copy and paste the code into your own project. Just visit cwc.to slash Swift UI dash kit. It's a free download. I'll leave it in the description below the video too.